Yesterday, I had the privilege of visiting the Mashpee Wampanoag Indian Museum in Mashpee, Massachusetts, which is in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The museum itself is located five to 10 miles away from the main Mashpee Wampanoag tribe where they have the Wampanoag Montessori schools and they hold their powwows. So everything in this museum is authentic, up-to-date, and entirely ran by Wampanoag people. The main focus of this museum is to provide information to those who might not have it and to teach against the dominant narrative. Morning Gift, who is my tour guide, has told me that often people come in and don't realize that Wampanoag people are still living amongst us. And so the main purpose is to show people that they're very much so still here and their culture is very much so, very much so still present. The museum itself is really small and intimate. It's located in a half house in Mashpee. It was donated to the Wampanoag people by Richard Bourne. He donated to them in an attempt to convert them to Christianity. Um, the museum is only the half house and then a wee to and back, which I will pop a picture right there. The museum is so heavily tied with the Wampanoag tribe in Mashpee that you're not only learning about the history, but you're learning about what is currently going on in the community. So you're getting up to date information. Also, I had such good one on one conversations with my tour guide that I got to learn her story and what it was like growing up and how things have progressed for her son. Um, most interesting is that they're working on reclaiming their language, so they actually have the first generation of native speakers going through their Wampanoag Montessori schools right now. They were able to take the Bibles that were written in their language in an attempt to Christianize them and oppress them, and they're using it to now rediscover their language and rediscover their culture, which is amazing. A current theme in Morning Gifts and I conversations and throughout the exhibits was this museum is a way for the Wampanoag people to reclaim their history that had been erased for them. For instance, there's a whaling exhibit in this museum, and the Wampanoag people were some of the most skilled whalers in the nation. And New Bedford Whaling Museum, up until last year, had all anglicized names until they heard about this museum, the Wampanoag Museum, and they reached out to them, and finally the Wampanoag stories are now getting told in the New Bedford Museum. No matter how much research you do before coming here, you will learn something new because you're hearing first person accounts, which is something you can't find online. Um, you establish such a good connection with your tour guide. For example, I got invited to their next powwow and I was able to receive Morning Gifts email. Um, that's something you can't do through just researching online. So I highly recommend visiting because it's so interactive and really opens to your eyes to all the misconceptions in the dominant narrative and what, how much work we still have to do as a community Yeah. I didn't know that. That a lot of them come from that. 